Warning. System overheating. Enter cooldown mode. It's here! Council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The President and Federal Council have ruled that the Bacalus Terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City.
we still make stuff, thankfully. We're not dead. And we make a lot of questionable decisions, but that's the Capcom. Yeah, my grade was better. I mean, I'll give it that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, my last grade was a D, and this is a C. So this is my best grade ever, like no joke. So I'll I'll take that. I don't know what I don't know what maybe not get a B at least. Uh, it may be my clear. It might just be. If I didn't save at all, I probably would have gotten me up to a B, so it might be, I, th I think it's not really clear time. I think it's that uh, I, I saved too many times, probably, so that might be why I didn't get a B. So, oh well, I'll take it. I mean, I, you know, I mean, to me, overall, the, the playthrough was really smooth. Like, it's just, it's just I, to me, it's the smoothest playthrough I've ever done in this game, and I didn't have much trouble with it. Like, Nimi didn't bother me, really. I mean, he didn't. I mean, the clock tower fight wasn't bad. And I got I beat it the fastest I've ever beaten. I swear, like the clock tower fight, and uh, it was awesome. I loved it. I mean, I did a great job in my opinion for my playing skills. I thought I did great. So that's what I'm glad. So, and again, I'm sorry about the whole y'all didn't see all the clock tower part. I'm sorry. It's just crap happens. So at least you got to see. At least it was only, at least it wasn't even like a good chunk of the game. It was only one part of the game, so at least you saw the, you know, the end of the game and stuff. And uh, so I'll just let y'all know, since y'all, y'all see, I'll tell you how it went. Uh, it went really well. I mean, the Clock Tower fight, like I said, I think I beat it the fastest I've ever beaten it. It's pretty fast. So yeah, and and uh, the Death Factory, it took me longer to beat it earlier. So I did do it faster this time because I, I know what to expect and I, yeah, stuff like that. So not too bad and. So overall, I think it was a great playthrough. I'm happy with it. I don't mind having a C. Like I said, I probably would have got a B if I didn't save at all. Or maybe save at least one. Alright, I'm going to watch it over here. Same one. What the hell? Alright, I will not save on it just in case it didn't record. Again, I hope it did. I'm gonna be pissed if it did, cause oh, I swear. Just to be safe, I'll save underneath it. And that's it for Resident Evil 3 Ending 2. I really have no reason to go back to the game, cause I've done now. I've done both endings, so I really don't have a really no point in going back to it. So, yeah, and I will really say it's been a while since I've done one of the PS1 Resident Evil. Probably the last time I did one was Resident Evil 2, so. It's been a while. And last time I did Claire A and Claire B. Sorry, I mean Claire A and Leon B. So, I still I still, gotta, I still have to go back to Resident Evil 2, so whenever I'll do that. So, I still need to do Leon A and Claire B. So, like I said, I thought it went amazing, playing-wise. Like, oh my god, I played so good, in my opinion. So, see y'all later.